Welcome to Solve It Like a Marketer. I'm Stephen Hobe. Today we're exploring Weber's law in consumer behavior. And if you like this video, please subscribe and don't go away. Now this week I'm doing something special, beginning with Weber's Law in Consumer Behavior. Building on this, I'll be doing a whole series on sensory marketing. You know, touch, sight, smell, you get the idea. But it's really cool stuff when we dig into how marketers use our senses as a means of marketing. But for today, let's start off by defining uh, consumer perception. So companies change all sorts of things about their products in order to alter our perceptions. Everything from colors, sizes, shapes, how a product feels to the touch or taste. And this idea of perception ties into Weber's law. Now, Weber's law is also known as just noticeable difference, JND, and tells us that consumers can spot changes in a stimulus based upon the relative change in the strength of that stimulus. In other words, if the stimulus is strong to begin with, then a relatively small change in the intensity is unlikely to get noticed versus a large change. For example, if you're holding a five pound weight in one hand, and then you're given a slightly heavier weight of 5.2 pounds in the other, you may not notice the difference. But if this second weight is increased to 20 pounds, you will most certainly perceive the difference between the two weights. Now we see Weber's Law or the Just Noticeable Difference all the time in print and commercials. So let's think in terms of pricing. Say you were in the market to buy a Lamborghini. Now, the total cost for this will be $280,000, but you want to add a few perks like, the, uh, say, a state-of-the-art navigation system or surround sound audio, and this is going to cost you an extra $20,000. But you think nothing of it because you've already spent $300,000. $20,000 seems like, meh, a drop in the bucket by comparison. Now imagine you're buying a second-hand car for $10,000 and that the salesperson says, hey, how about for an extra $20,000, uh, you can get that state-of-the-art navigation and surround sound. You would be shocked. So the perceived difference is far greater. Now, once you become more aware of how marketers can manipulate perception, you're going to see things you never did before. When you're buying that cereal at the store, give it a shake. What percentage of the box is actually filled with cereal and has it decreased? Or check out that bag of potato chips. How much air is in the bag? But more importantly, how many chips are in the bag? This is really only the tip of the iceberg. Many companies are walking a tightrope between increasing profits while still serving their customers, or you might say fooling their customers. So they sneak in these tiny changes to quantities that are imperceptible to the untrained eye. To be honest, I feel that companies should be held accountable for these slight of hands. They really are pulling a magic trick right in front of you. Sometimes it's gradual, reducing the size of a product very, very slowly over an extended period of time so that you don't even notice until maybe a year or two down the road. I thought that chocolate bar used to be bigger. Hmm. I can't remember. Job done. Now, if you'd like to see more videos like this, 
hit the subscribe button. You can catch me on TikTok or Instagram. The links are below. So join the discussion. I will see you every week with a new video. So please stay tuned and together let's solve it like a marketer.